Hello and welcome to the Superhero Hub, I'm Sam. I'm um, Matt. And today we're reviewing... Arrow! Tell them. Quentin's dead. It's a massive anti-climax. Sarah looked kind of good. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Not supposed to drop by. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I say again, it was a massive anti-climax. It should have just died when he got shot. He died off screen, it's pathetic. Well, is that is he really dead? Are, are they like throwing us? Because if he is, that's yeah. why him. Yeah. Like, what what would be the purpose? Maybe like I have no idea. Maybe like a season down the line, you'll get like a mass vigilante, and it turn out to be a brainwashed version of him. I'm trying to understand what the purpose is of what they did. Um, it's not like it had any emotional impact. Oh, like Sarah I... hugged. The other, the other new Black Canary, but it's like there wasn't even a focus of the scene. It's like that cop walks in, it's like, oh, no, the doctor walks in and says, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't make it. I don't know oh, what shame, and Oliver, yeah, I'm off to prison. The entire focus is on Oliver getting arrested. Like, it didn't even matter that he died. You thought it was going to be one of those arrested development things. Uh, well, I don't get <laughs> I yeah. do get that reference. Where yeah. they're like, oh, I'm sorry, he's gone. And it's like, jumped out yeah. the window. <laughs> um, I think it was uh, purely to um, re- reboot Laurel, if you know what I mean. Because she, she's going to be, she's going to be our Laurel now <laughs> as a result of him dying. Like, there's no way she can go back to her evil ways after that. I think it changed her as a purpose. So that was a reason for that. And I might I might agree with you, but there wasn't even there wasn't again the focus wasn't on her. We always saw her have a brief conversation with Sarah. She was. Oh, you like my Laurel? No, and then yeah, she cried a little, but there wasn't enough time. There wasn't enough focus on it. It's literally like a doctor walks out saying he died. Oh well, on on with with all of being arrested. Well, I think there's got to be a time jump. Yeah, all the more reason is death of the matter. <laughs> no one's going to hear I'm crying about it. Uh, what what did so a time jump in what regards? Like Oliver, how long Oliver's been in prison? Well, yeah, because apparently he's going to have his goatee this season. Um, you got because we, we were we were talking before we started the review that you know neither of us think he's going to be in prison for very long. It's probably for the best, but I do think you can get a cool episode out of it. Maybe two or at a stretch where he fights his way through the prison, like there was that script went back years ago going around before the, the Green Arrow show started about that was the idea for a film that he was locked up and they had to fight his way through the prison, blah blah blah. So that might be alright for a couple of episodes, but long term, don't see much of it. I I think they'll do what they did with Roy Harper like the government or whatever it's interesting that the fbi kind of supersedes argus and stuff like that you you know what i mean so for me i'd figure that they'll fake his death they'll be like oliver got killed or whatever and then he'll just prance around as a green arrow you know what i mean but really what does his family have got to have like targets on their back you know what I mean? Well, they're going into protective custody for a while, aren't they? That's what he was talking about before he got arrested. Oh, no, when he was arrested, when he was talking with Felicity that last time. He said they're going into protective custody at least until the, the Diaz thing is sorted. Yeah, but like, even if the Diaz thing still is sorted, like, everyone knows. True. It's like, he, he can't really, it's like... If people knew Bruce Wayne was Batman, like, literally, it'd, like, have to vanish off the Earth. It'd, like, have yeah, to vanish. and even then, they still target Alfred and whatever ward he's got serving as Robin, so, yeah, mm. that would be dangerous. Oh, it's screwed. He can have no kind of normal life, so, unless they do something to go and change it. But they've done that so many times already. He even addressed it himself when he got arrested. Once it was Roy, now it was fake Tommy. At one point, it was kind of Diggle. Are we going to do this again? They'll they'll probably do a, you know, in the comic books, uh, where he's on the plane, the plane blows up, and then Kevin Smith brings him back to life. Yeah, younger, for some reason. (laughs) 
Yeah, they'll they'll have to kind of they'll have to they'll have to fake his death, but like, what's gonna kind of you're gonna need some kind of thing that supersedes the FBI, I guess, because you got to figure it'll be like um, uh, like that they'll be like, oh, we need your help. Yeah, taking down some sort of threat. I suppose they will, but faking his death is fine. But he's still got a son. It'd be like it'd be like the su- I wonder if they'll uh... the Suicide Squad. Yeah. Well, well I doubt it. They got a sequel coming out. And they killed him off in the first place. So they didn't want the effect in the movie. So I don't see that happening. See, that's interesting because like you'd think if Diaz was smart, he'd just go go off and do some other city. Like it'd le- yeah. it'd be like right, Oliver's gonna get at least until he gets murked off in prison. You know, what I, I don't mean? see that. Though. I don't see, I don't see his character. He's got too big of an ego. He's I think see it's a defeat. Yeah, he's done. Because you'd be like, great, he's in prison, and like he ain't going nowhere. But as soon as I turn up and start doing stuff, they're they're gonna get him out to stop me. So like, unless he's like, good, I want him out so I can finish him off myself. But like, why wouldn't you just take it, all the money you got and then piss off? Because he doesn't want it. He wants to take over everything. Yeah, that in fairness, that is what we've seen of his character. It was the same with that that meeting of the gang lords wherever it was where he just killed them all he just wants to be in charge he wants to be the guy and for some reason he's decided it's going to be there mm. um so so yeah the fact that like I hope this showrunner has a bit more about her that she does that she doesn't just rectify it in the space of an episode that we actually you know is one of them things where we're like, oh, how's he going to get out of this one? And um, we're thinking that for, like, a few episodes. Cause really, I hope the solution isn't something we've seen many times before as well. That's what I mean. Like, this is this is a time for this. you got to figure this, this new person has kind of prepared for all this and seen where it's going and, like has an idea of how she's going to come. Well, yeah, because she was working, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I think she was working on the show already, wasn't she? She was a writer on the show, she's just been promoted. Oh, God. That's not just coming from nowhere. Well, I was hoping she was coming from nowhere, because, I mean, if she's already been a writer on it. At least as I understand <laughs> it, no. I think she's just been promoted. So, yeah. So, bottom line is, is, is fucked. Yeah, he's in prison, but we know Roy's coming back. So the team has got up. I don't see how they can get him out. You're right. It's, the, the government have got to, for some reason, agree to for him to leave prison. Mm. What's his big threat going to be? Mm. I don't know. But, I mean, how long can he stay in prison before we get bored of it, though? Okay. We've seen, I mean, we've, we've talked about this before. The show we are in doesn't work. In terms of threat. General Zard. No. Lex Luthor. <laughs> no. I don't know. There's been no details, has there? Normally, I mean, no. it's a bit of a way off. So, I mean, I guess uh, at Comic-Con or whatever, that they'll drop about... Um, apparently, Ted Cord's going to gonna pop up in it, finally. What, the deal? Yeah, because uh, th- this this is goofy, but I watched a video on it earlier. But like uh, w- one of the new characters that introduced, apparently when Stephen Amell heard the character was going to be on the show, he got goosebumps. Now, oh, to me, Stephen uh, is Batman. a Batman. I don't want to hear. It. Yeah, he's a waste man. So I mean, him getting goosebumps, it's like that. Don't mean shit to me. You know, you know what I mean. It's like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said the same thing about the Ninja Turtles, and I love the Ninja Turtles. Well, let's face it. Well, there's a there's a Batman Turtles crossover in the comic books coming in. That there? sounds terrible. That sounds great. As those are two things I love and I'll never want together. So I think, well, yeah, because I think they're looking at a way to introduce him how they kind of did with um, Ray Palmer. You know how Ray Palmer was kind of a breath yeah. breath of fresh air, and then he fucked off to Legends. So I mean, wasn't haven't they been mention of? Cord Industries or something in one of the shows. Oh, since day one. Is that, that like, at pretty much every season, at least twice, some, some main plot of an episode revolves around some group nicking something from Cord Industries. But it's never been mentioned by... 
No way. I think he was mentioned by Moira Queen by name a Ted called Fundraiser. But that's like, you know, season one, ago. season two. But you always see the buildings and you always see the trucks getting robbed and you see the boxes with, oh, Space Age. Because um, the Clock King, he stole his little skeleton king, key thing and that, that was from that was like one of the first mentions of Cord Industries as well. That was like season one. So, yeah, it's been mentioned about 50 times, but you, you've never actually seen him yet. Okay. We'll get... I've got to assume Batgirl's going to show up in Arrow as well, the Arrow portion of the crossover. Um, they they go to Gotham, so I, I figure it's gonna she's going to feature in um, well, in all of them. Yeah, it's, maybe if it works, say, assuming it works the way it did this year. I'm interested what what kind of thing they go to because is Supergirl coming to Earth One and they're going to Gotham. Or, yes. is, or is, like, what's going to drag her from her raft to come over here? Same thing it did this year. Oh, Supergirl, we've got a problem, come help us. You know what it's like. We talked about it as well. As soon as they introduce the fact that people can jump between Earths now, then it doesn't matter. They can do whatever they want. Mm. It's like having a portable Stargate. Hop through it. It's interesting, though, because they get her to come over to their Earth, and then they go to Gotham, so whatever it is is there, and then they bump into Batwoman. So I wonder if it's going to actually be something from Gotham, and if so, what's it going to be? Well, it's not going to be the Joker. Because if it's going to be like, if it's going to be an alien or something like Alien Invasion, why wouldn't they just invade Star City? You know what I mean? What? Why specifically would they have to go to Gotham? Because Gotham's better, I'm assuming. Well, Gotham's probably a hellhole. It's always a hellhole. Supergirl must have something to say. Supergirl will be dropping references because, I mean... To what? Batman, because, you know, Superman. Mm, is there a Batman on his Earth, uh, on their Earth? Oh, well, yeah, they kind of they kind of referenced it, didn't they? That's the point. I remember that. I remember we talked about this on Supergirl. You didn't quite get it. You thought they were talking about someone else. Remember, I was talking about, I forget what it was, but someone's mentioning like Superman's mean friend or something, or his mean looking friend or whatever it was, some shit like that. And it was definitely Batman. Yeah, well, so, um, well, Rip Hunter mentioned it like in one of the first episodes of um, Legends of Tomorrow. He said, "Oh, I've seen Men of Steel uh, die in Dark Knight's Fall." So I mean, yeah. I mean that, that's lame, but yeah. So the, I would it, assume there's a Batman over there, but. See, we, this is the weird thing that I've not quite got into as well, because we talked about there was kryptonite on Earth One, and and Eobard Thorn men, Eobard Thorn mentioned going up against Superman, and that Thorn was faster. But like the problem with that is that could have been on any Earth. Yeah, because but if there's kryptonite on Earth One, then there's got to be a krypton having blown up somewhere. Mm. So that leaves the question that. Is there an Oliver Queen and people walking around on Supergirl there? And if so, <laughs> doesn't she think maybe I should go find these people? Maybe on that Earth is not the Green Arrow. Maybe, maybe. but maybe find him and make him the Green Arrow. Maybe on that Earth uh, he f- fucked off in his little boat and drowned, or died on the island. You know, oh, so you've got all that. That's a kind of um, string theory kind of thing. You know, because like on. Yeah, yeah, it's just like the Superboy Prime Earth is the only hero. I suppose that makes sense. Hmm. Um, we strayed very far from Arrow. Yeah, because us, our discussions were more interesting than the episode. <laughs> so yeah, you've got you've got Diaz at the end licking his wounds with the uh, longbow hunters. Hmm. Whatever. Yeah, that's, that's a great Arrow thing. It was a story from a long time ago. Quite a cool one, but who cares? They ain't gonna be able to if if it was a cool story from the comic book, they ain't gonna be able to replicate it on the T V show, so don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing that with Roy Harper's weird druggy Maracuri thing, yeah, that's a shame. Well no, they to me well yeah, but to me it's like they tried to do that with John Diggle this season, but they kinda of brushed it off, didn't they? Then They started doing it with fear as well. You remember she was a druggy for like yeah. two minutes. It's like they keep mm. trying to do it, and then they're like, oh, we ain't got the signs to do it. But they could have done it 
if they had the balls to kill characters off, they could have done it with John Diggle this season and have see what they should have done is they should have dragged him being on drugs out for the whole season and then have Quentin die as a result of him fucking up. Yeah, but then that would make everyone hate Diggle. Yeah, then we'd all be in the same boat. Uh, wow. I'll, I'll give this one an A. I did, I did like an A. I did like the Diaz and Oliver Queen fighting thing. Do you know, in the rain and it was kind of slow motion. There was some cool stuff going on, but it was a bit short. To me, it was a, was a bit short. But but the the fighting was decent. But you know, ended. Yeah, too I'm giving quick. it a seven. This is finale. And they, felt like any other episode, except he gets arrested at the end. Yeah, and they hammed up the the little speech at the end. Yeah, I mean, you got, you had a good point about that. They should have just done the intro thing. My name's Oliver yeah. Coyne, and after five years in hell, I became someone well, else. Why wouldn't you do that? I don't get it. It baffles me. They probably You've thought... got an opening every episode. Why not close it out of it? And you know when he when he gives a speech about his crusade, it was like when I came back to Stalin City, uh, I, I had to become someone else. I had to become someone else. He always says it in his little speeches to his teammates. Mm. And this is a one time where you want to know what it, you might actually get a bit of goosebumps going on because it's breaking the fourth wall and is addressing you directly and is giving the speech. And they think, nah, that might be a bit too hack. Let, let's just have him drivel on <laughs> I was just mm-hmm. like okay I'm sick of hearing it now you know what I mean um, okay yeah. so where do, where do we think everyone's going to go next season uh, Oliver's in prison how long do you think he's going to be there for I'm going to say three episodes max um, that's too much I'm saying two I think they'll ship him there and back and he'll be there for a while uh, I wonder if they're going to have Felicity and the kid are bonded because they're in protective custody. And when he does get out, the kid's shitty at him. Like, oh, I'm, oh. I'm alright with that. Normally I hate annoying kids, but this kid, he's too blah. It does my head in. Oh, me, me and mum were getting on fine without you, Oliver. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm expecting. What, was it, weren't there at one point like he was literally baking cookies with Felicity? Yeah. Like, get out of town. The, Look at the size of that kid. <laughs> Why did he go to train like he's seven? I wonder, it's either going to be that, or because they kind of hinted that he had some sort of archery prowess. Don't make sense at all, you know what I mean? It ain't no genetic thing, and even if it was, Oliver only started doing it after he got stuck on the island. If he didn't get stuck on the island, he never would have done it. So, I mean, he he has some sort of archery ability, so I wonder if he'll be like... On the on the low down train, well, like Robin. Yeah. I mean, obviously it'll be speedy, but still. Yeah, I'll I'll rate it'll be like it, it it might save him a couple times this season on the down line. Maybe the kid should be like some sort of mysterious vigilante. And I laugh if they go into protective custody and he's like, my new name's Connor Hawk, just oh, to God. please everyone. And look, that would be better than having <laughs> Diggle's kid be called Connor Hawk for some reason. That was dopey as well. Well, John Diggle's got to die at some point. I wonder. I wonder if yeah, that does was, he? I wonder if that was canon. No, that, it's not a guaranteed future. I don't think. I'm pretty sure that was kind of canon. So I mean, yeah. Mm, I wouldn't say that. So John Diggle's got to pop it. Felicity's got to fuck off at some point, and then Oliver's got to lose his arm. No, none of it has to happen. Diggle, speaking of Diggle, looks like he was lining up the costume again. Is he going to be running round? He's not going to come with a green arrow, is he? Uh, well. Is he going to be like the Dark Knight Rises or something? There has to be a green arrow for some reason. Well, I mean, you've got to figure the Outsiders are going to be, still be doing their stuff, aren't they? Are they still called the Outsiders, even though they're bummed back up with Bollaroo again? Oh, God, yeah. So I think Team Arrow is still going to operate without him, which is interesting because if they're somewhat capable and can be utilised, like I wonder if they're if they're um, watching a call it deal, if the if they're if Oliver going to prison means that yeah they don't they're not going to prison but they can't carry on. I doubt it. See that because the FBI all of them know who they are now. 
pretty much everyone in the FBI know what their identities are, so I wonder if they're like, look, just knock it off. Because like, if they're doing stuff and they're somewhat competent, like, why would you need to get Oliver out of prison to, to back up if they're doing such a good job? There's a good question of how their immunity works. Obviously, they have immunity for everything they've done up to that point, but then as soon as they go out there and they fight crime again, have they immediately broken their immunity? Unless, as a result of Oliver being sent to prison, they do another one of those vigilante act things and they and they make it illegal as opposed to banning vigilanteism. Maybe. In which case, maybe that's how he gets released. Yeah. See, at that point, if they drafted in like the Civil War like sign-up thing, which I don't think they're going to do, that's too well known as a Civil War, but speaking theoretically, if they did that, there'd be no reason not to. Because all the cops know who they are. Mm-hmm. At least the FBI. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm Sam. Uh, I'm Matt. And they've dug themselves quite a hole this time. See you next. <laughs> See you next episode. <laughs>